Hello everyone, welcome to WebSense Pro, welcome to another Shopify how-to video in which I'm going to show you guys how you can add slick icon slider on your Shopify store, whether you want to add on your home page, if you want to add on your product page or any other template, you can add that easily. And this is without app. Yes, there is no app you will be using for that. All you have to do is just follow this complete video, copy the instruction which I'm going to provide you guys in this video and add this stylish looking slider which will look awesome. So as you can see on my screen, I have the slider. That's how it's gonna behave. And now let's take a look at the mobile version. So I'm going to open up the developer tools and see how it looks on the mobile version. So that's how it's going to look on the mobile version completely mobile responsive and all you have to do is just follow this complete video and learn how to add this on your own without any code knowledge without any additional app okay let's see what are the backend features of this slider so let's go to the backend and that's the slider which i have added so we can add more icons there it is Let's add in two more. Let's name it test one. And uh, name this one test two, just to show you guys how it's going to work. Hit save. And now let's see how it works. So these are the first five icons which I have. I added two more. So that's test one and test two. Let's add some description on the new icons which I added. Testing text for one. Okay, hit save. We can change the alignment as well. So if you, after adding this section, all you have to do is just click on icon slick slider here and you can change the alignment. So currently it's center alignment. Let's do it left. Hit save. And that's how it's going to look like with the left alignment. Now let's try to increase the icon size. You have the option to change the icon size as well. Okay, let's get it back to the way it was before. I like the 20% icon size when the alignment is left. Perfect, icons per slide. We can increase the number to four, five or whatever we want to. So there's how, that's how the five icons will look like in one slide. Let's get it back to three. And spacing gap, we can adjust the spacing and we can enable and disable the arrows by unchecking and checking this box here. We can increase the text size And we can also change the heading color and the text color, and we can also add the gradient background. Now we have a separate alignment settings for mobile version. So if you want to display icons center in the mobile version and on the left hand side in the desktop version, you can do that as well. So if I look at it on the mobile version, Let's hit save and visit the mobile version. Let's refresh. Okay. So that's how it's going to look in the mobile version. You can see the icon alignment is center on the mobile version, but on the desktop version, it's on the left hand side. Now you can change it as per the setting here. If I move it to left and save, that's how it's going to look in the mobile version. In mobile version, we have option to display two or one icons per slide. So you can change it as per your requirement. Layout, we can change the layout. So all these settings are implemented on mobile version and you can additionally add in your custom CSS here. So if you want to add CSS and if you want to add a special CSS for mobile version, you can do that on this box as well. And you can also change the fonts separately on this section only. You can do that by just check marking here 
override default theme font and simply change the fonts to whatever font you like. Hit save. And you can see it changes the heading font to the mono regular font, which we just changed. Uh, let's try changing the text version as well. Description of the font. Let's do that. Abriel fit face. Hit select and hit save. Let it load. Okay. Now you can see we have updated the description font and we have updated the heading font. Also, you can link this button here. So if you go to any icon slider and add in the link here, you'll be able to link it to specific product or wherever you want this link to go. Cool, right? So all of these features you'll be getting just copying and pasting and creating the new section. The code which I'll provide you guys will be in the description. It's free of course. You don't have to pay anything. All you have to do is just subscribe this channel, turn on the notification because Shopify keeps on updating the stuff. And in order to catch up with the updates, you'll have to subscribe this channel because I keep creating the updated videos just for you guys for free. Also, if you are looking at my homepage, you can see that I have created this transparent header. And when I scroll down, you can see it changes to the different logo, which is showing up only on sticky version. And on the transparent header, I have the white version of the logo. I have created this tutorial link in the description and all of these will be working fine on the latest version on dawn 14.0.0 which is released last month if you are not aware of the latest update i have created a separate video i'll put the link in the description where i have shown you guys what are the latest feature they added in dawn 14.0.0 okay now let's start implementing this i'm going to go to the back end and let's navigate it open up a new tab navigate to slash admin Okay guys, now click on online store. And then first I'm going to add a fresh Dawn theme, which is 14.0.0. So I've already added multiple code on this version of the theme. What I'm going to do is add a fresh Dawn theme. And this code is going to work completely fine on all of the free themes and all of the paid themes because it's section, which is working independently, no matter whatever theme you're using. Okay. Now click on add button here. I'm going to test it with Dawn 14.0.0. And while this theme is stalling, guys, I want to tell you guys, if you are visiting this channel for the first time, I have created multiple tutorials. And uh, one of the tutorial is transparent header. And uh, the other famous tutorial which I created is this uh, percent batch discount. So if you are looking to show what is the percentage amount you're offering on that product, you can uh, implement that tutorial link in the description. Also, if you want to add color swatches without using any app, you can do that as well. Just subscribe to the channel. Link will be in the description for all of the videos, which I am referring with you guys. Okay. Uh, our Dawn theme is being installed now. Let's click on publish. Click on publish again. Perfect. Uh, let's click on these three small dots and then edit code. Before editing the code, make sure to have a duplicate of your theme in case you're working on a live theme. Okay, click on edit code. And that's the code which you guys will be needing. All of the code stuff will be in that description. So there will be a link which will go to this URL where you will find this code. Okay, in our code editor, I'm going to scroll down and click on this section here and then click on add a new section. And I'm just going to copy this name here. You can name it whatever you want. Let's name it icon dash slider. Click on done and now remove all of the code, which is there. Copy this code here and paste the code. And that's it. Click on save. And now you have your section ready to go. You can add your own icons on your Dawn theme. Let's preview it, how it's going to look like. So click on these three small dots and then click on customize theme. I'm going to open that in a new tab. Okay. Now scroll down to the bottom and uh, click on add section here. Search for icon and here the icon slider. Click on that. And here we have our icons showing up. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven icons. Click on save. Perfect. Now you can play around with it as I showed you guys in the starting of this video. Just change the icon by clicking on select image here. Link it to wherever you want. Just click on this icon link, paste the link or search here and you can link it to any product you want. Okay, I linked it where the learn more link will be uh, going to. Okay, test working fine. Test working fine. Again, a link more, learn more link. You can add link wherever you want to take this learn more button to. Okay, click on save. Let's go back to the home page and preview how it looks. Click on these three small dots and then click on view. Scroll down and here's how our icons going to perform. Let's check it on the mobile version. Okay, mobile version also looks fine. And if I click on the icon, it takes me to the product where I linked it to. Perfect. So that's it for the tutorial guys. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to create more free sections for you. Until next video, have a great day.